So, hi, I'm Helen Terry. I'm here at Soma Ranch having a conversation with the one, the only, the fabulous, the sensational Miss Carolina, who's been on this journey with me for quite a while. We've done some trainings online. You've taken a lot of classes with me online. And then recently we actually were in person. It was so lovely to have you here in the studio. And I wanted to have this opportunity to really introduce you to our 3030 group um, going into 2023. And then also just in, in general for people to know a little bit more of who Carolina is and how you fit so beautifully into our community. So thank you for being here, for having a conversation. <laughs> thank you so much, Helen, for having me. It's such a pleasure and honor to be part of SOMA. Summer community and your classes and everything that has flown for me in the last at least three years, I will say, getting yeah. to know more of you and who you are as a teacher and as a person. So it's been a lovely journey to continue to evolve and manifest, and I'm open to all of that. Oh, that's so lovely. So we started out like two years ago in January of what 2021, when I thought I was going to do one 30 day challenge. And then the group said, can we do this again? And I started finding ways of doing that. And then this last year, 2022, we introduced this new idea of the 365 challenge, as well as each month having a 30 day challenge. And you were one of those bold pioneers that just like, Oop, sign me up, I'm doing this for the year. So thank you for your dedication and um, for being one of the most regular attendees live in all of these classes that we've done. Um, I'd love you to share maybe a little bit of why did you sign up for the 365 and what have you received from that, that commitment and um, dedication that you've brought? Absolutely. I mean, first and foremost, I admire your impeccability as a NIA teacher. And I learn about you throughout the five stages and the brown belt really deep online experiences for me. And then after that, I, it, it really inspired my curiosity. Okay, I want to know more about Helen. How does she do her classes and her community? And I learned so much from the way that you teach in every single class that I said to myself, okay, here it goes. I'm going to commit for a year like a sponge and I'm going to digest everything that my body and my mind and my soul is ready to take in. And it has been such an enlightening journey for me. Um, there, is a, there is a personal resonance that goes between you and I somehow. And then there is a professional side that I admire and inspires me so much. So I don't get bored because there is nothing to be bored about. There is always something new happening and flourishing. And you're so open to receive feedback and new ideas. And I am a very creative soul. So something that really helps me bloom is be in environments where I am not only seen and heard, also received and taken into account. And the beauty that goes with that is just growth, growth for everyone. And it's been just such a joy to see all that happening in the community and getting to know the people and um, being there for one another in so many different ways. And yeah, that's that what really inspired me to say, yes, I'm gonna do 365, let's go for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah it really is um those beautiful connections that we have at the beginning and the end of classes um i like it when i can be there 15 minutes before the class begins and we tend to put the recording on like 10 minutes before the class and let people know if they want to fast forward through the chats they can if they want to get straight to the class so i think that's been a good way of balancing how people not only really do want to connect, but you're right, there's, there's so many things that have happened, like um, people who have been 
you know, healing from cancer, people that have experienced death, people that have celebrated births and everything in between that we really have been a, a blossoming community. And it's very nice for me to receive, you know, complimentary stuff about me and my teaching. But then I really like how you shared that. Um, but then you talk about how it, this really is. And what I wanted was this isn't about like a Helen Terry group here. We, we really are a community. And you're one of those key people that I think just from being you and your beautiful suggestions um, and how you share the that you have helped us evolve yeah so i think that the whole thing about like fun friday came about and we you know played with doing that suggestion and then what was the other thing that you suggested then i was like yeah let's see if we can do that was it the teacher feature or <laughs> <laughs> so many so many things you have to for me so the teacher feature was one for sure and and at some point you provided me that beautiful opportunity to teach at summer for 30 minutes and receive all your feedback and you all feedback and it has inspired others to come and teach which is lovely i mean it's a safe space and we all grow we all grow um the other one was when you were opening the come and join me for a month and invite another person and then the person that i wanted to invite couldn't make it that month and then i said would it be possible if the person has a rain check somewhere else at some other point and That's then fun. there goes helen oh for the whole year not only now <laughs> but whenever you want it so i mean that that was another another one that really has change the program by itself i mean you're so generous and open yeah. um what else i mean the different topics like can we work on the principles of the body's way oh let's do that as well and then some other person comes and says what about the nine movement forms and i mean it's it's, it's like no ending when when I practice the jazz and and someone else also resonates with that. And you yeah. have an example. <laughs> yeah, so you're right. And um, so I love how you give suggestions and then it's like, how can we say yes? And then almost um, it becomes a life of its own. So we really do have now our fun Fridays, which is like the improv class. Um, I think we're going to carry on doing that teacher feature every month. It's been so much fun. So that's where any teacher that's in the group, put your name in the hat. And on the 10th of the month, I pull out a name and that person, we figure out the schedule and that person gets to be featured in a class. Um, I'm also, yeah, from your suggestion of the body's way, I'm right now actually looking at 12 different focuses for the year this year we sort of organically each month picked something and they've all worked so well that now i'm actually going to look at posting the schedule for the whole year so the first month next month um is going to be joy as the focus and looking at that's the thread that runs through everything i thought that was a good beginning and then i felt february um, could be love connecting with valentine's and a whole month of how to love your body and love your life. I thought that would be a really good one. And then I got other ones, like you said, like the nine movement forms, exploring relationship with time and space. I've got the five principles of the body's way, which is really looking at science, craft and art of the body of our near practice and of our life. So can continue on, but yeah, I'll, I'll send you that schedule and we'll, we'll see how we can work around that. So. Yes, you are integral with giving sparks of, of questions. And that thing of us being able to invite someone, so everyone that signs up for the 30-day challenge, so long as they sign up by the 28th of the month, they can bring a friend, so long as it's someone new to the group, they get to bring a friend for free. And the creativity and just the heart of people bringing, like you've brought family members and friends and mothers and daughters, um, it's such a lovely way to get to share what we're doing with a loved one and then really wonderful when sometimes those people hang around and sign up themselves and bring friends. So we're also doing those that sign up for the 365 day every month you get to bring someone for free as part of that package so 
you are the idea girl and you boldly ask questions and I love that. And the other thing I like is after class, sometimes we'll have a, I don't know, like a little chat, but also a review and an opportunity to share from the experience. And I feel there's two sides there. One is where people get to share what they like, the music, the moves or what happened for them. But then also teachers and training teachers get to ask me questions more about the mechanics or of how I did something or noticing. And I love those sort of um, spontaneous conversations where your questions really um, spark me to answer things. And I feel like I'm, I'm the student myself answering the questions that we're realizing, oh yeah. I think after teaching for almost 30 years, I sometimes do things on on automatic. And when you ask those really smart questions, you help me slow down a little bit to be able to look at how can I describe, break down and explain what I do and why I do it. And I love those kind of geeky questions that you bring. <laughs> Thank you, Helen, for receiving them. And and your teaching style goes so much with my essence on how do I go about manifesting myself as a teacher. So I feel that there is a synergy that goes in between me practicing every day with you. That's my daily practice with you. I absorb, I learn, I am who I am. And then I take pieces of that for my teaching classes that I'm, I'm doing nowadays, Tuesdays and Fridays. And I just feel how it flows and provides me with the nurturing elements that I need to continue learning and practicing in order to become the teacher that I'm inspired to be. And then I took the green belt in person. <laughs> yes. So it, I couldn't believe she's real. Um, <laughs> Yeah, those funny moments where we go from the screen to in person, it's like, oh, it's a body. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it, it's just one more step in the route of this virtual world that we're living in that is here to stay. And then when making that effort to invest in order to get closer physically to the people that we care about. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Oh, thank you so much. So you're stepping in. Um, and thank you so much for accepting my invitation that this next year, 2023, you are going to be a, a special host for our Saturday super special guests. So, um, so that we can sustain, well, more than sustain, I really feel like so we can increase the joy and increase our community and our program next year rather than me teaching all the classes. Um, I'm bringing these two teams along and I really needed someone I could trust that I knew could be that welcoming presence. Um, and also the technical things of remembering to hit record and being able there to introduce and to help everybody feel comfortable and asking questions afterwards. And I felt you were the perfect person for that. So everybody, this is Carolina's main position here is on Saturdays at least 24 of next year's Saturdays, I'm gonna be traveling or taking time off. And I have some very special guests coming in to teach. Oh, by memory, can I remember them all? Here we go. Help me if I forget some, Carolina. Um, Kelly Chambers, Erin um, Curran, um, Maria Whitley, Martha Randall, and I think we have one more. Natasha Villanueva. Pardon? Natasha. Yes. So during the week, Natasha, Paul, um, Elaine does Feldenkrais and Kelly Marie. Exactly. They're teaching during the week. And then the Superstar Saturdays, they are teachers that have really already mastered their craft. They have their own communities. They have their own style. And so we're bringing them in as special teacher features. So, um, and so Carolina um, has offered that she will be, I feel like when there's the Oscars and there's the person that's running the show. <laughs> so um, she'll be like welcoming people into the Zoom room, introducing the presenter, helping everybody with questions and little bells and whistles like, 
when to mute, when to unmute and how to record. Um, so I think you're the perfect person for introducing, welcoming and helping everyone feel at ease. So how do you feel about your role as Saturday host? It's an honor. It's an honor. When you mention it, I was like, oh, that is so interesting. She sees that in me. That's lovely. So it's an opportunity for me to get to know more of each one of the team members that we have in our community, as well as the new teachers that are coming to teach. And I would love to know more about them. I would love to be there for listening with my body ears about what their needs are and asking questions and prompting you know that those sparks moments were capturing the essence of what's going on and and how it was received and I, I i feel flattered i mean it's such an opportunity to be there for you when you're taking a break as well i mean you have created this community and works for so long in creating what you have created, Helen, you deserve that time for yourself as well. Thank you. I, yeah, I like that. And I like how we're really developing right to, into the, the we and really connecting and enjoying everybody's uniqueness and special talents. So, well, thank you so much for saying yes to the invitation. And um, also thank you during the during the year i hope we can do some special classes we were just talking about them um, before we recorded this of how carolina is so passionate about the latino community and um, connecting with that music that is so in her blood i think and um so definitely looking at some pop-up classes we might be doing some special jams on sundays and for sure around cinco de mayo carolina is going to teach a special class there we're looking at maybe doing a duet together sometime during the year so lots of fun things to look forward to mostly thank you so much for being here and thank you for being such an integral part of our community and i've got to see you almost every day for the last two years and that really is very special. So thank you. Likewise, Helen, thank you for the opportunities to teach and for receiving my culture as well. There is so much flavor and, and sound and rhythm and joy that goes with the Latino communities. And I mean, it's, it's important. It's important to um, continue sharing all those differences and diversities in our community. So get ready for that. <laughs> I would love for that to flourish and continue. So um, I appreciate you and the community so much and I'm here to serve. So let me know what can I do more and better and I'll do my best to fulfill that. Oh, thank you and everybody watching. Um, whether you're brand new to near or curious or perhaps you're a teacher uh, i really invite you to check this program out at least for 30 days it's 99 dollars for the month you can always bring a friend for free so the two of you could even split the price if you want to think about doing that creatively and um, definitely what you'll receive is education as well as motivation and movement and then something that's beyond words of just a very special community that I hope you'll feel part of and that you'll feel supported and have a lot of fun along the way. So thank you so much. Be well. <laughs>